What's up guys, Omni here. You guys know how it goes, another day, another video. Last night I tweeted, I sleep. What news topics, tweets, videos y'all want me to talk about tomorrow? Anyway, no announcements today, so let's just jump right into the video. Mr. Timster said, talk about Mr. Beast getting canceled on Twitter, I did he get canceled on Twitter? I, this is this is news to me. Okay, I looked into it, guys, for you guys. There's nothing to really say about it. He's not actually getting canceled. I think, you know, back in the past, Mr. Beast might have said some things. He said some slurs, or he might have said some things about people that I didn't like. I think he was being edgy, and I think it was like four or five years even before he became Mr. Beast. And now people are trying to, like, give it more attention and be like, yeah, let's let's cancel him because he's because <laughs> he's a big deal. This is a fake cancel. This is even Twitter cancel. This is just people being bored. At Clinical Brendan said, I asked this last time, but I'm going to ask it again. I see the keyboard in the background and wanted to know if you could play us something please uh so <laughs> i can't play it right now because i kind of messed something up with it but if you come to twitch.tv slash inferno omni uh, and look at some of the uh, clips that i did i played like for a good 30 minutes for you guys on there so <laughs> come to the stream um, i'm currently playing monster hunter rise i'm addicted to this game by the way i've never played monster hunter before and now i'm trying to learn i'm really really bad and i'm addicted i almost didn't make a video like two days in a row like today i didn't want to make a video because <laughs> i just wanted to play monster hunter rise so i will probably be streaming that later this evening if you guys gonna come you know just come watch me suck at the game because i just i want to get better at it it's really fun it's really addictive hopefully it doesn't make me stop making youtube videos because it's that good for me at a uh, boy said introspective taking a break for his health so for those of you guys don't know introspective aka colin uh he made a twit longer yesterday 5 22 p.m saying goodbye for now he is taking a break from youtube of course as i know you guys are too lazy to read i'll go ahead and read it for you guys um he said nothing in my life is where i wanted to be every day feels like a struggle to make any headway towards my goals i'm always tired like literally 24 7 i've diagnosed depression and the cold and the dark of the winter months make it worse every time i get momentum in work i burn out too hard to keep it up i've watched so many others excel ahead in my line of work while i just watch exhausted wishing i could do the same which depresses me more because i know i'm in a blessed position and can't capitalize off of it the way i want to. I have almost zero hobbies now because I never have the time or energy to nurture them and I feel like I'm constantly letting down my relationship, my pets, family, and the few friends I've been able to manage relationships with, which has also become mentally exhausting for me to keep up with. Every day online I put up a front to act like everything is all good while I make dumb posts and talk about whatever is going on in the world, but in the meantime my own personal struggles are all that I'm left with. I've tried exercise, changing my diet, going to therapy, taking medications, neither it doesn't work in the long run or I'm unable to juggle it all between my work relationships before getting too burnt out and falling back into this vicious cycle. For years, before I became a YouTuber, I was going nowhere in life, often spending my days alone inside and wasting away in front of a screen. I haven't had any proper daily routine since high school a decade ago, and it continues to be my biggest downfall in my life. And so until I can somehow fix any of this, I need to step away. Social media is just adding an extra layer of stress and sometimes toxicity to my already damaged mental state. I don't know when I'll be back, but I can't let the fear of irrelevancy or anything else hold me back from fixing my life. Because if I don't, things will only get worse until I'm forced to quit all this all together and I want this to continue to be my life. I'll try my best to still upload, not sure about streaming, but being a part of the community on a daily basis is just too much for me right now and I need to put first what's truly important. Thanks for understanding and reading this. Please take care of yourselves. I wouldn't want anyone to have to go through this feeling, Colin. So yeah, I'm good acquaintances with uh, Introspective and Colin. We've been hanging out and talking a lot all the time on Twitter for years and years now and he's one of the OG uh, Smash tubers back in the days with Alpha Rad and uh, yeah, he's just, he's burnt out. He's a YouTuber. I, I think a lot of it has a deal with Smash in general. Like the content that he makes is, is focused around Smash and you know, Smash right now is not doing too hot. So therefore, if you have a, you know, a channel created around Smash and you're focusing on Smash, then it, <laughs> there's a direct correlation with what's going on there. I definitely understand how he feels, especially with YouTube. Like before I even started doing YouTube, like, like real time, like full time, you know, when your channel's not doing well, then your career's not doing well. <laughs> and if your career's not doing well, that you're not doing well you know what i'm saying so being tied to that plus being tied to your character plus you know being tied to social media it's not healthy it's exhausting in my opinion i think colin is a great youtuber and he just needs to start making like <laughs> among us videos <laughs> i think he made an among us video uh, a while back and it did like amazing and i think he just needs to pivot from smash and start making more content and when you you know when you pivot from any kind of content creation if you're a youtuber by the way and you start pivoting like i did you know the whole people who are watching your channel are not going to be on board you have to you know kind of take a loss for a while until you can find yourself in a new place um so yeah i really hope that things go well for colin um i know he's in a terrible place mentally he's got to reestablish that refocus that i would advise getting off of 
Twitter and my social media uh, as a whole is usually really, really unhealthy there. And I, I think being on social media less is always much more healthier for your mental and mindset uh, in the long run. So yeah, hang in there, Colin, man. And um, I'm hoping the best for you, babe. And uh, London Henry said, talk about dream stands and NSFW stuff. Okay, so for those of you guys who don't know, this is this is really weird, okay? You guys probably know this. You know Dream, he's the uh, Minecraft speedrun cheater. I mean, a uh, uh, YouTuber who uh, basically has like 16 million subscribers on YouTube, who's famous for his manhunt series or whatever. Well, he has a huge, you know, um, fan base of stands or people who just support him and love him no matter what. But he also has this weird fan base of people who make like fan art of him. So we do fan art on this channel, which is, you know, chill and relax me drinking coffee, showing my cat. There is fan art of this guy that's really popular where it's just sick and twisted. There's blood, there's gut, there's gores. There's pictures of him having being sliced off. There's blood. They put other people from the Dream SMP in there. So it's 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 disgusting. As far as I understand, I don't think he cares. <laughs> like he's never denounced it or anything like that. He's never been like, yeah, stop drawing me in these like, you know, NSFW like portraits. He's never just said, hey, can you please stop? Can you just tone it down to like SFW, suitable for work? Can you just do that? So uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, I, just guys, just for, just just let you guys know, I'm not into that. That's not my kink. I'd prefer you guys draw me as a furry before you, you put me as a, uh, just being stabbed and stuff that's that's nasty that's gross it's kind of scary too especially if somebody as big as him um and i wouldn't want a fan base of people who like support that kind of stuff that's just that's just gross so yeah that's the whole thing with the dream stands i don't even know show you any clips because i kind of already been following it if it takes a turn for the worst i'll let you know and a darkie said hey yo would you consider doing a podcast you have the perfect voice for one um yeah i would consider doing a podcast i just i just don't know where to start um i don't know if i'm supposed to do like you know just me i don't know what to talk about i don't know what i, I honestly don't listen to a lot of podcasts but a lot of you guys have been saying i need to start a podcast but i just legit have no idea what that would be uh how that would differentiate between what i'm doing right now so yes considering a podcast how to do one what to talk about how to create it is it on spotify is it on youtube i have no idea i'd probably need a lot of help trying to figure out how to make that happen at dd21 said godzilla versus kong trailer so yeah what's your thoughts on it well i have no thoughts because i purposely didn't watch the trailer so that we could watch it here today they make these movies once every like you know five to ten years and usually has better graphics than anything like so yeah godzilla versus kong is like two minutes long let's go ahead and watch it all right, that's the trailer. It looks godlike, uh, pun intended. And uh, yeah, I'm rooting for Godzilla. I'm pretty sure Kong's gonna win. That's that he pretty much has, you know, story armor plot at this point. But I'm rooting for Godzilla. I want Godzilla to win. Uh, Chewie said, "Well, it seems Storyfire is shutting down." So yeah, guys, uh, press F to pay your respects for Storyfire. If you guys don't know or you never heard of Storyfire, Storyfire was supposed to be uh, the major competitor to YouTube. It had a little fire. It was always being pushed like people like Keemstar. That's the person I saw push it the most. But yeah, it was supposed to be a YouTube uh, competitor. Uh, and yeah, unfortunately, it's getting shut down. There's a video by the guy. I think it's McJugger Nuggets is the guy who created Storyfire. Uh, there's a YouTube video out here where it says. Uh, uh, yeah, Storyfire is shutting down. We can watch a little bit of that. Storyfire is shutting down February 1st, 2021. I know after a statement like that, you guys are probably thinking of back when I quit YouTube just a year ago and said January 1st, 2020, I'm leaving YouTube. This is not clickbait. It's a very real video. We're having to shut down the platform uh, and it's not. Why this guy got just like hundreds of dollars just sitting on his desk? Like, <laughs> what is that? Is that supposed to be a statement or a <laughs> video for those that have ever used the Storyfire platform, our diehard creators, our users, fans of me, anyone interested in the business side of things or just how we built this company over the last four years or what went wrong, please watch the entirety of this. Uh, there is a lot to unpack here. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not going to watch the entirety of this. Anyway, yeah, rest in peace, story fire. You know, it, it really sucks because <laughs> YouTube is just, it's undefeated. You can't, you can't touch YouTube, okay? I just, there needs to be more competitors for YouTube and, and, and Twitch and all these guys and all these giants because it's healthy having more of these companies out here and having more more selections is good but unfortunately the giants are just too big bro and they will swallow every single type of platform that mimics it in, in a heartbeat google bro like you're just you're not competing with these guys these are definitely just giant monopolies just sitting there and it just it sucks so uh yeah rest in peace story fire um and uh you know at least you tried so at m1r said gamestop stock update please so yeah i'll give you guys a quick update on the whole gamestop thing okay if you weren't aware gamestop is basically crashing <laughs> the stock market okay I, I told you about it in like two prior videos i'll give you guys a quick update currently gamestop is as we record this video which is like uh, you know 120 uh is at 73 dollars which is actually kind of low it opened up this morning at 100 dollars, and it went i think all the way up to 161 
dollars. Now it's all the way down. Um, the guys at our Wall Street Bets are basically trying to, you know, push this stock up as much as possible. And here's the problem, okay? When the stock goes up really, really high, people who've been buying the stock are like, all right, I'm gonna cash out, I'm gonna sell. <laughs> but when the stock gets really, really low, people are like, ooh, I can buy this stock at a discount now. So some people have bought this stock at like $140, $150, and now it's at $75. And if you go to the website, there have been some people who have lost 40, 50, 60, $80,000. There's some people who've made hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's absolutely crazy, nonstop mayhem. I've never seen anything like this before, uh, but it does look like it's kind of slowed down and I'm curious to see if they're gonna be able to squeeze more um, out of this uh, stock. Potentially yes, potentially no, who knows, we'll see. My advice to you guys is that if you're interested in this stuff, look, just if you don't know anything about it, don't get into it. <laughs> but if you do get into it, only put away money and in investing that you're okay with disappearing and never coming back again, okay? Because <laughs> if you go any way further than that, you will just see things evaporate and you could ruin your lives with it. So be very careful, okay? Stock is like gotcha vortexes, okay? Have you ever played Fire Emblem Heroes? That's what stocks are, all right? It's like the gotcha vortex, except for with Fire Emblem Heroes, you can't even make any money. You just lose all your money. With this, you have a potential to lose more money. You have a potential to gain money too, if you're smart, but you have a potential to lose a lot more. So be careful, okay? That's my warning. At a uh, RoboCrap said, do a meme review on your subreddit. So yeah, if you guys don't know, I made a subreddit a couple days ago and it's already at 2,000 readers, Jesus Christ. And I said I was gonna do a full on, uh, you know, meme review for this Reddit once we reach uh, 5,000 members. So yeah, if you guys haven't joined, come join. So yeah, I'll sort by top and see what the best ones is the first one is obviously just me still <laughs> pointing a gun at you uh, uh another one is the real horseman of gun and it's uh four different people pointing a gun uh what's this one hey guys crom here please stop masturbating to my daughter oh jesus christ okay so yeah i i don't know what this thread is going to turn into what is this a clip welcome a past twitter meme that i made oh that's right <laughs> All right, that's high quality, that's high quality. So yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen with that Reddit. That's up to you guys to post whatever the hell you want. But yeah, at 5,000, uh, I, I will definitely do a full meme review of the channel. So yeah, be prepared for that. At uh, Feline Fine said, opinions on Super Bowl team. So I don't watch football anymore. I, I, I used to be really, really addicted to football back in college. It was really unhealthy. If you guys care about sports, if you don't care about sports, the only thing that you really need to know is two things. Number one, Super Bowl Sunday is gonna be between, I think, Kansas Chiefs and uh, Tampa Buccaneers. That's the that's the, gonna be Super Bowl. Sunday. And number two, <laughs> Tom Brady, the quarterback uh, for the Buccaneers, is back and <laughs> back in the Super Bowl again. If you guys don't know, this is Tom Brady, the most famous quarterback in the entire football history, basically. He has seen so many Super Bowls. I don't even know. I don't even know what the number is at this point. Is it 10? Is it eight? I'm not going to lie to you guys. I can't. I don't know. But Patriots were at the Super Bowl every single time. And yeah, people were wondering, you know, when he goes to the Buccaneers, is he going to be able to do the same thing? You know, maybe he needed the Patriots and the team. But no, <laughs> he went to the Buccaneers, bro, and he's still in the Super Bowl. This guy is just superhuman. And you're, I don't think you're going to be able to find another person like this in competitive history who's been able to successfully take teams to the Super Bowl over and over and over again. Um, he's probably the comparison to like LeBron James right now. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. If you guys made it to the end of the video, do me a favor, leave a like, subscribe if you guys haven't already. I want to go because I want to go play some Monster Hunter Rise. <laughs> I want to get go eat really fast and then I want to stream for the rest of the evening. So if you guys want to see me play this game, I'm really bad at it. So, so don't, you know, make fun of me or whatever. But yeah, if you guys want to see, come and hit to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Inferno Omni. That's where I'll be. I would love it if you guys were there. Just watch me and support me, you know, like a like a parent and watch a little Tyler's firstborn baby, you know, walk a monster on it. I just, it's, I'm, it's, it's, I'm addicted. <laughs> I'm addicted. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. You guys take it easy. You have a great day. And uh, yeah, stay healthy, stay hydrated. And uh, take it easy.